Are you finding yourself overwhelmed by the demands in your business right now? For example, are you finding yourself challenged by keeping up with the amount of client inquiries and questions? or you're finding yourself having more mistakes occurring in your business. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the clear warning signs that it is time to upgrade your business system because you are finding yourself in a place where you're hit your capacity or your cap to helping you grow to the next level in your business. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jesse Gary. I am a certified business consultant and I love helping entrepreneurs in growing their business and scaling to the next level. On this channel, we talk about all things that refer to your back office systems. I look forward to talking to you today about some clear warning signs that it is time to upgrade your system. By the end of this video, I'm hoping that you'll have some clear ideas on how to be able to get yourself unstuck and get yourself moving forward within your business. One of the first signs that it is time for you to start upgrading your system is that you're finding that you have outdated processes. You have spreadsheets all over the place. You may have mistakes that are occurring because you may have not taken the time to update spreadsheets, your worksheets, your website, your contact forms, everything still shows old information. Outdated processes can, of course, make you feel overwhelmed. You want to take time, if not yearly or quarterly, to review what you are doing, how is it impacting your client's experience, and how you can run more efficiently. What I find some people do is when they have outdated service, outdated processes, is that they double down on something that is not working. When your processes are outdated, I recommend you taking a time to look back at what you're doing even interview some clients to find out how their experience was and what you can actually do within your process to make a better client experience. And by updating your process, you'll find that you'll have better efficiency, less complaints, better profits. You will be able to take on more clients and improve your capacity. So your system being updated means more money and more time. The next sign that it's time for you to upgrade your system is that you're having inconsistent communication and data. Inconsistent communication can be in the form of you or your team members not using the same email communication on processes and procedures, or you may not be having your system keep up-to-date information on your client. I have seen when people are doing things manually or they're not as organized, what will happen is that a client will be quoted the incorrect price because we don't have things updated. And when you're in those positions, it can be extremely challenging for the client as well as for you. I have heard when people hire people, the most challenging thing that they experience is that they think that their team member or their support staff is just trying to do things wrong. In reality, if we're not keeping consistent information and data for people to find easily or follow, mistakes will occur. So I recommend looking into having shared drives or some type of cloud that will automatically save information so that it is up to date and modern. When you're looking to do data driven decisions, you want to always make sure that your information is real time and accurate. So you want to use platforms that are automatically going to save when changes are going to occur and it's easy for you to actually update that information. So if you're finding yourself challenged with having accuracy in your information, this is definitely a key indicator that it's time for you to upgrade your system. The third sign is that you're getting more customer complaints. It may not be major complaints, but small disagreements or small misunderstandings can eventually snowball into something that's larger for you to handle. I love to use customer complaints as an opportunity to learn what can I do better within my company. Years ago, I would get so defensive when a client complained to me. And now I look at it, how can I avoid this in the future? What steps do I need to actually implement in my 
my business to help with ensuring that this does not occur again. Granted, there will be people you just will not make happy. However, when you have a updated and efficient business system, you will find that you'll get less of those types of issues and you have built in safeguards to help protect your business and your brand to avoid misunderstanding. I find that when we don't have structure, you will have more complaints and that can cost you in your brand identity and it will cost you financially if you're having to issue refunds and credit. Another sign that it's time for you to upgrade your system is that you're having difficulty in scaling. That can be a common challenge at different parts of your entrepreneurial journey. I find that in the beginning, and I was even guilty of this, is that when we're just testing out our concept, we are just trying everything to see what's going to get us a result. However, what's going to be important for you is to realize that once you have a proven concept, now you want to take the time to look at how can I do things more efficiently so that I can scale. If you are the bottleneck to decisions in your business because everything is custom, guess what? Every time you get a new client inquiry, that means that someone's going to have to come to you. Even if you have an assistant that's taking calls, you do not want to to be that because you haven't thought out how to scale with your pricing or your onboarding process, you will find yourself challenged because even if you have team members that are helping you, if you are still the bottleneck to things getting done, you have someone that's working for you However, they're not able to increase your revenue because you are the source of everything. So it is a key indicator that maybe I need to change my workflow because I am the one that still is doing everything. That does not mean to fire your VA. That doesn't mean that you don't need anybody. No, it means that you need to take the time to look at how your system is currently operating and how do you remove yourself from certain types of steps. This is not something you want to wait until you have a team member. You want to start taking responsibility of this specific task now, even if it's only you. Because once you have a team member, you don't want to have to focus on breaking your bad habit and then teaching someone at the same time, because that can be a whole nightmare. And the final indicator that it is time for you to upgrade your system is because you're having security and clearance breaches. This is a real thing, especially in 2023, where I have had people try to hack the most weirdest accounts that I have. Um, and people will try to do that. So you want to ensure that whatever platform you're hosting your information that is up to date, that there are security measures that are in there to protect people from hacking your system, but also security measures so that if you have someone that's on your team that isn't an honest individual, that you don't have them have access to important information about your business. So if you have an updated system, you will only have to allow the right individuals to have access to information. But if we just have Excel spreadsheets so that everyone can see it within your company, everyone will not have the best of intentions with working with you. So the best way to protect yourself is having a great employee onboarding process. You want to be able to have screening for those types of individuals. You want to have the right kinds of contracts for people to sign. You want to make sure you have a clear space for storing information, know who has access to financial information, Depending on the type of business, of course, it's going to look different for each and every person. However, having great security measures within your business is going to make it a lot less stressful for you. So you don't have to worry about someone doing something malice in under your company's name. Congratulations for learning the five warning signs of being in the space of needing to actually upgrade your systems. If any of the warning signs that I mentioned are happening in your business, I recommend you doing something now instead of doing it later. You do not want to have your business open to any types of glitches and errors that could have been prevented if you've taken the time to 
upgrade and update what you're currently doing so that at the end of the day, you can end the year hitting your goals, making more money and feeling more confident about what you are doing. So if you found this video helpful, click the like button and let me know, like what's one of the warning signs that you are particularly gravitating towards because I would love to start having the conversations in the comment section of this video to just learn more about what's going on for you as an entrepreneur. All right, that's it for this video. Have a good one. Peace.